Hey, what is going on guys? Root of the Null here, come back at you with some more batch tutorials. I'm gonna get the Windows command line started, I'll bring it right down here so you guys can see it, and uh, let's get to some let's get to some work today. Now, I wanna talk to you guys about something called string concatenation. Now you can remember that string is a data type or like a form of a variable that we usually work with that uh kind of displays text or letters or like words or sentences, and it really allows us to be able to display some information to our users, or even it's just some information that we need to be able to keep track of that's just that's just like a word or even a little bit more than that but concatenation or to concatenate something is really the action of adding two strings together now this can be done in other languages like python or c++ or maybe even php or visual basic script it really you can you can obviously enumerate and list off as many languages as you'd like because there are a whole ton of ways to be able to do this but in Python it's real simple with just a simple plus sign like it'll go ahead and add on like if you're using a plus sign it's adding to something and you can add on the string that you'd like so let's go ahead and set a string to equal John now if we go ahead and type in a string we actually get the value of it John is not recognized in the external or internal external command okay that's fine. We've got John. He's he's the value of our string variable. So let's go ahead and create a next another thing. Let's go ahead and create string, and we're going to try and add on to it. We're going to do string plus equals Hammond, like you would normally do in Python or something. We can just go ahead and use the the uh, plus sign to add on to it, right? Okay, that runs. So if we if we actually go ahead and type out string, we still have John. Huh? That's a little strange, isn't it? So, because we're trying to add on here, we're using the plus equal sign, we're having a space, so we can have Hammond. But, let's take a look at our variables. Let's use the set command. Now, if we scroll up here to string, once I find it, holy crap, there it is. <laughs> now, we've got string here, it's still John, and notice down here we have string plus. So it didn't actually add on to the string variable, it created a whole new variable called string plus. So we really can't do that. Can we? Let's go ahead and take a look at it again. If we... Can I reset the shell? Okay, no, that's only Linux, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new shell so all the variables aren't keep track of, but hey. Okay, so uh, let's see, we set string, can equal John. And now what we can do is we can use the string the variable expansion, we can actually get the value of it, of the current variable. So in our case, we're going to set string to the value of string, and then we'll add on Hammond. So now when we display string, it's still not going to get us anywhere, and we're going to take a look at why that is right now. Because string equals John Hammond. Okay, so when we're taking a look at it inside, remember we've got a space character here. We're using white space. So we actually, we can't look at it like we've been looking at it so far. We actually do have to display it to the screen. So I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because I wanted to introduce this to you guys in another video. But hey, take a look at it. Here it is now, the echo command. The echo command will actually display output. So in our case, when we pass in string, it'll show John Hammond because that's what it really is. We've got We've added set string, we've done set string, and we've first added it to John. That's what we did first, so when we echo string, it's initially John, and then what we can do is we can use the actual value of that variable, and then go ahead and continue as we would normally do. So we could just change it to like John White if we really wanted to. Now when we display that out, we have John White. So it's a little bit of concatenation without really concatenating onto it. It's not actually adding or appending anything onto the string, but we have like we have like an illusion. We have a sort of way to be able to do that because we're just using the actual value inside of another value, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but um, that's really all I want to show you guys today. Uh, I'm sorry there was a little bit of a flop between looking at Echo and just being able to display it inside the shell. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this regardless. I hope you guys can understand this. And, uh, you know, we'll be working more about these things in a whole other video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye.